Hey friends, welcome back to the Godspeed Garage. In this episode, we're gonna do a real quick follow-up video. Does painting your own white walls actually work? So you probably saw the episode where I showed you my process to use paint to make your own white walls. And a lot of you asked, how long does it actually last? Does it actually work? Does it flake off? Does it turn yellow? So the first time I used this process to paint the tires on my truck was way back in 2015. And it's currently the end of April 2019 as I'm shooting this follow-up video. So it's been about four years and they held up really well. In fact, the paint lasted longer than the tires did. Here's one of the first ones I did. And this one, you can there's no yellowing at all on this one. You can see up here, I was going to do a four inch wide white, but then I opted for the three inch. It holds up really well. This is some overspray from when I painted my wheels. They used to be red, but now they're black. This is another tire from the first time I tried to do this. I didn't do a very good job grinding it. But as you can see, there's no flaking at all on this one. This part here is actually just rubber. That's not the paint flanking off. That's just rubber that I didn't grind very well. There is some yellowing happening around the edges down here. I think that yellowing is just because I didn't get the top coat on there very well. So maybe I didn't clean it good enough or I didn't get it hot enough or what. But this yellow, that's the color it'll be if you just did the Plasti Dip stuff. So that white vinyl fabric paint stays white. I just didn't get enough of it on here apparently. This is one of the tires that I swapped out when I made the video and I swapped it for obvious reasons. Pretty sure you're not supposed to see wires. Hence why I made the video because I had new tires that I needed to make white walls out of to match the other ones. Now I've since used this tire to hold up an engine, to hold up a transmission and as you can see it's full of water because it's been sitting out here in the dirt and mud and snow and rain and everything else. Flip it over so you can see the white wall. Yeah, see how nasty it is? Because it's been holding, like I said, engines and transmissions. And if you look at the paint on this one, it's held up really well for the most part. There's a few little areas where maybe starting to flake a little bit uh, yeah right here is pretty bad but like I said this has been sitting in the dirt for the whole winter and it's had engines and transmissions on it and the tire I shot when I did the video it was back in June of 2018 this is the actual tire so this paint's been on there for about 10 months or so and as you can tell, I didn't bother cleaning it, so there is no behind the scenes clean job going on here. And as you can tell, there's no flaking or, you know, maybe a little bit of cracking, but you can't hardly tell. The paint is stuck on there. It's not coming off. So as you can see, even in the harsh Central Oregon winters, it holds up really well. So long as you keep it super clean and really use your heat gun to really heat that rubber up so the paint will actually get into the pores and everything in your tires. As long as you do that, keep it clean, keep it hot as you paint it, these will last for a long time. So I hope that helps. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you give it a like, you subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.